Hey everyone, welcome to another week of yoga with me. So for this week, uh, focus pose of the week, I'm taking you into forearm wheel. So Urdhva Dhanurasana, but on your forearms. This is definitely a tricky one. Um, I want to give you the option to push your boundaries if you are ready for it. If you're not, just take full wheel. There's still going to be some tips and uh, alignment uh, things to help you get into regular wheel. But if you want to take it that little inch further, definitely go ahead and try forearm wheel. Only do what you feel comfortable with and what you feel safe doing. Um, definitely recommend you looking at the focus pose clip as well because that gives a little bit more tutorial than in the flow itself. Take whatever you need, make this as restorative or as intense as you like. If you want some yang yoga that is like power vinyasa, heat going, then take it. If you want to make it a little more yin, have it be more on the cool side, focus more on your ligaments opening, then take that. Whatever you need, it's all up to you. I'm just here to try to give you what you need when you need it. Let's go. All right, so forearm wheel, this is a really good one. As you can see, I'm getting all sorts of stretched out because you do not want to do any type of wheel not warmed up, but this one especially, this wheel pose is going to be very different. So forearm wheel is going to start just like we start with regular wheels. So coming onto your back, and then you're going to bring your feet close to your glutes like you're setting up for bridge pose. Now make sure your feet are hip width apart and stacked right below your knees with your palms flat on the mat positioned right above your shoulders if it's comfortable. Come up into wheel pose, Urdhva Dhanurasana, by pressing down through your hands and your feet on your exhale. So inhale here on the ground, exhale, push down through your feet and lift your hips up for wheel. Now right here, breathe, find your footing, find your grounding. Now come onto the crown of your head, bring the crown of your head to the earth very gently, only rest it lightly, avoid placing weight on your head. Start to walk your hands back towards your heels until you bring your forearms fully on the earth. So your head is still on the ground, your forearms are now on the ground. Now press your forearms down into the mat as you lift the crown of your head off of your mat. Anchor through your heels as you pull your chest towards the back of your mat, really stretching through your triceps and your back line as well. Now to exit this, bring the crown of your head back down to the mat and then bring your hands back into wheel, pushing up through your hands. Then tuck your chin to your chest and lower all the way down onto your back. This does seem like it's probably almost too hard to try, but honestly, just take it step by step and you never know, you might surprise yourself. Starting in child's pose, Balasana, sink your hips down towards your heels, knees wide as you stretch your hands towards the top of your mat. Feel the ground strong and sturdy beneath you. Just feel this out. Make this your foundation as you start to integrate your breath into your practice. Ease on into Ujjayi Pranayama, Ujjayi breathing if you choose, breathing in through your nose and breathing out through your nose to generate heat in your body. On your next inhale, come to tabletop. Look past the top of your space to help lengthen through your neck. On your next inhale, cow pose. Option to bring your hands next to your knees for more of a thoracic opener. Exhale, cat pose. Press the ground away, arch through your back. Inhale for cat. Exhale for cow. If you want to take traditional cat and cow, that's fine too. Just bringing your hands closer to your knees really lets you open up through your upper spine. Take two more rounds of this at your own pace. Really feel the openness as you arch into cow and cat. Deep breaths in. Deep breaths out. Walk your hands forward one to two inches, even further past regular tabletop. Roll your shoulders onto your back. On your next exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Take movement to ease into this posture, maybe bending deep through one knee and then the other, pressing through your fingertips, and then find stillness. 
Take one to two rounds of breath. Maybe shake your head yes or no if you need that little bit of movement even in the stillness. On your next inhale, look forward. Exhale forward, fold to the top of your mat. Maybe you take teeny tiny steps to bring your feet behind your hands and then bring your feet hip width apart. Hands can either come to your elbows or just drape onto the ground. Bring more weight to the balls of your feet as you bend deeply through your knees to help release your lower back. Good breath work, way to keep it moving, way to keep this foundation even as you're easing weight into a scary part of your foot. Start to bring your feet closer together. Hands come down towards the mat. Take an inhale. Exhale. On your next inhale, roll up to standing, Samasiti. Find your rooting here. Re-engage in your breath, maybe in that Ujjayi Pranayama, and just reset. From stand at attention, on your next inhale, mountain pose Tadasana, reach your arms up high to the sky. Root down through the soles of your feet so much that you feel your kneecaps lift up towards your face and point your tailbone down to the ground. Corset your ribs in as you draw your shoulders down your back. Inhale, bring your right hand to your left wrist. Exhale, side flexion to the right, reach up and over to the right, press down into your feet, zip up through your legs. Inhale, back to center to switch, left hand to right wrist. Exhale, side flexion to the left. Kick your hips slightly to the right as you use your chin, as you pull your chin away from your chest. On your next inhale, mountain pose. Bring your hands to the backs of your shoulders. Exhale, supported back bend, Anuvatasana. Drive your hips forward as you lift your heart up and let your head come back. Really press your hands into your shoulders, but then your shoulders into your hands. Inhale back to mountain. Exhale forward fold. Hinge from your hips coming into Uttanasana. Maybe shake your head yes, shake your head no. Inhale halfway lift. Ardha Uttanasana. Roll your weight into your toes. Place a tiny bend in your knees. Squeeze your shoulder blades onto your back and lift from the muscles on either side of your spine. One more inhale. Exhale, high plank, top of a push-up. Plant your hands, step back, place a tiny bend in your elbows to use to ignite more muscles in your arms. Exhale, lower onto the mat. Maybe do knees, chest, chin as I'm doing. And then slide into cobra pose on your next inhale. Bunjangasana, lift your heart up to point forward and breathe. Little to no weight in your hands. Press the tops of your feet and your hips down into the earth. Exhale, release down. Inhale, tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. That is our sun A. We're going to do that breath to movement now. On your next inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain pose. Reach up, grab for your left wrist. Exhale, side flexion to the right. Inhale, mountain, reach for your right wrist. Exhale, side flexion to the left. Inhale, mountain pose, release. Exhale, support a back bend, hands to your shoulders, tilt your elbows up and back. Inhale, mountain pose, reach up. Exhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms the mat, high plank, top of a push-up. Inhale here. Exhale, knees, chest, chin, lower down to your knees. Point your elbows back as your chest comes down, chin comes down then. Inhale, cobra pose. Maybe you lift up your toes. Point your toes up and back if you are lifting your legs up, hovering on your hip points. Exhale, lower down. Inhale, high plank or tabletop. Exhale, downward facing dog. We're getting warm just one more time. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, mountain reach up. Grab your left wrist. Exhale, side flexion to the right. Inhale, mountain center. Exhale, side flexion to the left. Inhale, mountain pose, center. Exhale, support a back bend. Maybe your elbows tilt up and back and you lean back even more here. Inhale, mountain. 
Exhale, forward fold, hinge at your hips. Inhale, halfway lift, palms to shins or thighs. Exhale, high plank, top of a push-up. Last time through here, we're almost done. Inhale, exhale, lower down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra pose, slide through. Maybe you even take king cobra, pressing down through your hands, really arching through your back. Slightly tuck your tailbone to protect your low spine. Exhale, downward facing dog. Way to warm up the spine. Now we keep moving. On your next inhale, look forward, switching it up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Sit low and breathe. Really bend your knees as you sink your hips down and back. Bring your weight back into your heels. Slide your inner thighs towards the back of your mat to get strong in your low body. Draw your belly in. Pull your tailbone down towards the back edge of your mat. Lift your chest up to try to find some length here. One more inhale. Exhale, airplane arms. Keep your chair legs as you sweep your arms behind you. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back and lift up from your triceps through the back line of your body. Inhale, back to chair. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Keep your chair legs open up to the side while your right hand reaches back, your left hand reaches forward. Kick your left hip back a bit to come back in line with your right hip. Inhale, center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Twist from the space behind your belly button to focus the twist through your torso. Tiny bend in your elbows to help you broaden in your chest. Inhale, center. Exhale, forward fold, release. Feel that sweet relief. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, first chaturanga series of the flow. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, high to low or mid plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Always feel free to skip those or take them on your knees. Inhale, lift your right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Bring your foot between your hands, right foot closer to your right hand. On your next inhale, crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. As you reach your arms up to the sky, lift your back left heel up higher to drive your left hip forward. Pull your right hip back to bring your hips into alignment. Feel the stretch across the front of your left thigh. Wrap your low ribs in to keep your core strength intact. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Same as in chair pose, but now we have crescent lunge legs. Feel how your spine is building some more rotation here in this different version of a vertical twist. Inhale, exalted crescent. Reach your left arm high as your right hand rests on your left hamstrings. Pull your right shoulder forward slightly as you lift your heart up. Exhale, warrior two, open up here. Adjust your stance as needed if you need to shorten or widen your stance. Settle in. Inhale, reverse warrior. Pull your ribs up through your side bodies. Press down through your right foot. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, high to low plank. Maybe take knees, chest, chin. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we are building more complexity along with more heat. Left side comes in now. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Make sure to flex your toes down to the ground. Exhale, low lunge. Foot comes in between your hands. Bring your left foot closer to your left hand. Set up here. Inhale, crescent lunge. Anjaneyasana on the left side now. So pressing down through your back right toes to help bring your right hip forward, twist your left hip back a little bit. Keep softening your shoulders down on your back. Inhale. Exhale, vertical twist to the left now. Pull your collarbones towards the back of your mat to help broaden across your chest. Drive your inner thighs in towards each other for your strong, steady base. Inhale, exalted crescent. Now reach your right arm up and back as your left hand touches your right hamstrings. Again, draw your left shoulder forward to help you align. Exhale, warrior two. Stack your shoulders over your hips to engage a strong spine here. Hug in through your biceps and triceps as you stretch your fingertips away from each other. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn your torso towards the side. Think more side bend than back bend. Inhale, exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. 
coming to a high plank option to take your chaturanga or just hold as I'm doing meet back and downward facing dog that is sun B we're going to move that breath to movement now build even more heat all right breath to movement now inhale look forward exhale forward fold inhale halfway lift exhale forward fold inhale chair pose Exhale, airplane arms, sweep them back. Inhale, chair, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Left hand reaches forward, right hand reaches back. Inhale, chair center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Right hand reaches forward. Inhale, chair center. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms the mat. Option to take Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Maybe just take knees, chest, chin as I'm demoing. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. Deep breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Right hand back, left hand reaches forward. Inhale, exalted crescent, left arm reaches up and back. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, low lunge, top of your mat. Inhale, high plank, maybe one-legged high plank. Exhale, option for a one-legged high to low plank chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in, deep breath out. Inhale, reach your right leg up high. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the left, right hand reaches forward. Inhale, exalted crescent, right hand reaches back. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch your left arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge, front of your mat. Inhale, one-legged high plank, option here. Exhale, option for one-legged high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Amazing work. Find your breath. Recenter. Channel this heat. We've just got a little more to go. All right. Now we're going to add on to that sunbeam a little bit more. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair pose, reach up. Exhale, airplane and arms, option for drinking bird coming up on the balls of your feet. Press through your big toes to help you stabilize. Squeeze your inner thighs in towards each other. Sink your hips one more inch. Inhale, chair. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, hands to the mat. Option to take Chaturanga Dandasana, high to low plank. Um, maybe come onto your knees or just skip altogether. Inhale, upward facing dog if you took it. Exhale, downward facing dog is where we meet. On your next inhale, lift your left, right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, low lunge, right foot in between your hands. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach up. Exhale, vertical twist to the right. Now right here, bring your left hand up for Exalted Warrior and then bring your left hand to the back of your neck. Point your elbow up. Exhale, pulse crunch forward. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, center. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Well done. Inhale, reach your left arm up. Exalted Crescent. Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, stretch your right arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge to the top of your mat. Now come back either to tabletop or high plank. We're gonna take some hamstring curls. I'm gonna do this in tabletop and reach your right heel up to the sky and pulse it up, up. Squeeze your right glute to help push your right heel up for three, two, one. Inhale, come back to tabletop or high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Now we get into the left side. Inhale, lift your left leg up high. Exhale, low lunge, foot in between your hands. Bring your foot closer to your left hand. Inhale, crescent lunge, reach your arms up high. Exhale, vertical twist to the left. 
inhale exalted crescent just for a moment right hand reaches up and then bring your right hand behind your head inhale lengthen exhale crunch pulse forward inhale lengthen exhale crunch inhale exhale crunch in lengthen crunch in for four three two and one inhale exalted crescent Exhale, warrior two, open up. Inhale, reverse warrior, reach your left arm up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Inhale, come back to high plank. Option to, again, take tabletop or high plank. I'm going to do this from high plank. Curl your left foot up towards the ceiling and pulse your left heel up, up. Press down through your hands and your right toes. On your next inhale, high plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Amazing work. All of this heat has a purpose. All right, on your next inhale, lift your right leg up high to the sky. Exhale, bring your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Drop your right hip down in line with your left and just shift back and forth on your toes a little bit. And now come down to your left knee, setting up for runner's lunge. As you feel warm now, what postures feel reliable to you? What movements feel secure? Maybe you feel secure to come down to your forearms and maybe move your right foot a little bit more out. Maybe roll onto the outside edge of your right foot. Take deep breaths in and out here. Really feel the openness generating in your hip girdle here. On your next inhale, come back up on your hands. Reach your right hand back for your left foot. Curl your left foot towards your glute, coming into a quad stretch. Keep a micro bend in your left elbow. Roll your heart towards the sky as you breathe into the sensation that you're feeling. Maybe press your foot into your hand and your hand into your foot to help your left quad open up. Inhale, come back to runner's lunge. Exhale, down dog, kick your foot back up and meet back in downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left foot up to the sky. Exhale, left foot to the outside of your left hand. Maybe shift back and forth on your back right toes a little bit before you come down onto your right knee for runner's lunge. Your sides are siblings, not twins, so you might feel a little bit more open here. You might not, and that's okay. Honor what you're feeling on both sides, knowing that you are secure on both sides, even if one feels a little bit different. Maybe you roll to the outside edge of your left foot here, maybe not. Option to take the quad stretch on this side as well. If you do, I recommend coming back up onto your hands and then curling your right foot towards your right glute. Reach your left hand back for the outside edge of your right foot. See if you can open your chest even towards the left side of your mat, if not towards the sky. Keep a micro bend in your right elbow. Deep breath in. Deep breath out. Release your foot. Inhale, come back to low lunge. Sweep your left leg up high the sky for down dog kick. Exhale, downward facing dog. All right, come down to tabletop. Come onto your knees. Let yourself be here for just a moment and just really enjoy this warmth. We're setting up for puppy pose on Hatasana. Walk your hands forward as you keep your hips stacked directly above your knees. You can either bring your forehead to the mat as you stretch your hands forward or keep Bring your chin to the mat if you want to get even more backline opening. Aim to strengthen through your backline and open across your front line. Option to press your palms together and take reverse namaste, bringing your hands to the back of your neck. The more you breathe here, the more your chest will lower down onto the mat. On your next exhale, bring your hands back to the mat. Gently push yourself up for tabletop. Bring your feet forward and roll onto your back. So you're lying flat here, and then we're gonna start to come into forearm wheel. First thing we're gonna do is a bridge pose. So bring your feet as close to your glutes as possible. Press your palms down into the mat. Take an inhale here on the ground. Exhale, bridge pose. Press down through your feet, but squeeze up not only through your glutes, but through your hip flexors to lift your hips up. 
Roll your shoulders onto your back. Maybe even interlace your hands underneath you. Keep your chin chasing away from your chest to help you lift up even more. Try to press down through your feet and try to shift your chins, your shins towards the top of the mat to help encourage more lift in your hips. Exhale, lower down. Option to knock your knees into the middle and widen your feet just to do a little bit of fall and bridge. Maybe drop your knees from one side to the other. Now we are setting up for wheel pose to come into forearm wheel pose. So first things first, go ahead and bring your hands flat to the mat. You're gonna wanna make sure that your feet are hip width apart and that your feet are stacked directly under your knees as well. As you can see here, I'm shifting a little bit. Sometimes it's helpful to make sure that you shift what you need in order to make sure that your hands and feet are on your mat as you need to build that strong base. Take an inhale down on the ground. Exhale, push down through your hands and your feet to lift up into wheel. Now, as you're here, breathe, press down through your hands and try to shift your chest towards the front of your mat to help you really open up. Now come onto the crown of your head, only resting it lightly as you start to walk your hands towards your feet. And this will help you come down to your forearms. Now press down through your forearms as you lift your head and pull your chest towards the back of your mat. Keep your elbows in as much as you can. If you start to feel yourself shift out like I am, then come back onto your hands, push up into wheel, then tuck your chin and lower all the way down. That is some serious, intense work, and that's what all of our heat was for. Now we are on our backs. Let's go ahead and release this heat and come into our surrender. On your next exhale, come into Supta Baddha Konasana Recline Butterfly Pose. Soles of your feet touch, knees are wide. Maybe rest your hands on your stomach, just as a little reset for your low back and for your back line after all of that wheel practice. Just take some centering breaths here, just to let yourself kind of release, let go. Use your hands to bring your knees back together. Now bring your right foot to the top of your left thigh, coming into supine figure four. Option to keep your left foot planted and using your hands to gently shift your right knee towards the top right corner of your mat. Option to lift your left foot up and interlace your hands behind your left thigh, just drawing your left knee into your chest. Exhale, release your left foot down to the ground if it's not there, and then let your right foot meet it. Switching it out for figure four on the left, your left foot comes to the top of your right thigh. Maybe you keep your right foot down. Maybe you lift it to reach your hands behind your left, your right leg and interlace your hands there. Deep breaths in as you bring your right knee into your chest. Exhale, release both feet to the ground one at a time. Now, as you're breathing here, we're gonna do some hamstring release. So bring your right foot up to the sky as your left leg stays down for a hamstring release. Bring your hands behind your right thigh or maybe bring your hands to your right shin or as I have my left foot on my right big toe just to help release through your hamstrings and help keep your hips down on the ground as you just realign from everything that you've done to open up so much. Take one more inhale here. Exhale, roll your right leg over towards the left for a supine twist. Option to bend your right knee um, in case you don't have the room to keep your right leg extended. As you take deep breaths in and out to feel your right side body lengthen, just deepen into this. Let go of everything that you did in the beginning of the flow. On your next inhale, bring your right leg back to center. Let it come down onto the mat. And then inhale, bring your left leg up for hamstring release, bringing your hands behind on your left hamstrings or maybe reaching your right hand for your left big toe. Just letting yourself release through these muscles. Take one more inhale here. 
exhale, supine twist over towards the right. Your left leg comes over towards the right as you start to look over your left shoulder. Option to bend in your left knee. Think of this as the ultimate ringing out here. So you're kind of wringing out your body like a wash rag. And again, if it feels different on this side than it does on the other, that's okay. Take one more deep breath in. Big deep breath out. Let it go. On your next inhale, bring your left knee back to center. Exhale, ball pose. Bring both knees into your chest. Option to keep your shoulders on the ground for this and just squeezing your legs into your chest or bring your forehead towards your knees. On your next exhale, coming to Shavasana. Lengthen out your legs. Let your arms come out. Take up space on your mat and just release. Wonderful work. Way to take your expression on the mat. Whatever you chose today, whatever you did, that was what was intended for you today. Just go ahead and take a moment to have a moment of self-gratitude. I know this sounds maybe cliche or corny, but a lot of times we move so quickly that we forget to have gratitude in the moment towards ourselves, towards um, our mindset for taking the time to even do yoga in the first place. Just right now here on your mat, whether you're on your back or if you came to like an upright seated position, let your breath, let your movement in and out as you feel your stomach go in and out or expand and constrict. Just take this moment to really truly hone in on some self-gratitude. You can even take it a step further going outside of yourself and maybe giving thanks for the fact that, you know, you have the time to do this. Thank, giving thanks for whatever circumstance allows you to be able to get on your mat today. Maybe um, you've been getting more energy from getting more sleep or maybe you have been changing a few things that you eat and it's giving you more energy. Maybe give thanks for those changes, those positive movements that have helped you get to a higher level of energy, of openness, of operating. Whatever gratitude looks like for you today, whether it's towards self or outside of self, whatever that looks like, Take the next few moments to really hone in, to really tunnel down deep and find those sources of gratitude, not only to do it from a sense of just basic, uh, basic acknowledgement, but in the understanding that the more gratitude you give for what you have, the more will come to you. It's just a fact. The more gratitude you give, the more will come back to you.